G'day everyone and welcome back to NS2HD. This is an internal Unknown Worlds Entertainment playtest of Build 181. Check out this scoreboard. We've got Max, Charlie, Andrew, and a couple of Unknown Worlds internal playtesters in this game as well, and there will be more people involved in it very, very soon. This is uh, a playtest played on Friday afternoon in San Francisco, so it's Saturday morning for me. I was very lucky to catch it. I haven't brought you one of these internal playtests in a very long time, and I am very, very sorry for that. I started off by killing Andrew there, and then I don't think I showed you me getting killed by Charlie, but... I think I'll have a second chance to try and kill the Unknown Worlds Entertainment Game Director right here. Will I be able to do it? Getting one? No, not getting a single bite down. That's embarrassing. Keep in mind, I do have an Australian-sized ping. I am playing 12,000 kilometers away from the server that was hosting this game. I am very excited to bring you this one, this uh, internal playtest, because I haven't brought you one in so long, and the reason for that is these playtests are usually played at a time when I am either at work or asleep, but this morning I woke up at a perfect time to be able to record it for you, and so you will now get a sneak peek at the build, which you will no doubt all be playing very, very soon, and if you haven't pre-ordered uh, the Natural Selection 2 beta, or sorry, ordered the Natural Selection 2 beta, which does give you access to the full game when it is released, then you can still do so and play in the beta and this build that you are watching right now. I don't know when it will be released and that is probably the first question on many of your lips. I don't have, uh, I don't know when it will be released. I do know that the build is very far advanced and it was playing very, very well in this playtest, but it may, uh, I mean, it might be today, it might be tomorrow, it might be next week because you just don't know with these things. It's dependent on too many variables. Unknown Worlds could fix one little bug and that might make another big bug very temporarily, or they might send it off to Valve, but Valve might not patch the game through Steam until next week. But rest assured, the build is coming, it is real, it is right in front of you right now, and it is playing exceptionally well. Trying to kill Max, he is the Unknown Worlds Entertainment Technical Director, he is the programming guru master behind Natural Selection 2 and the Spark Engine. Who am I engaging right now? Looks like I'm engaging Brian and Charlie. Uh, and that is Brian number 1C, it calls, goes in by the name Murphy, and Brian number 2, or Brian Alpha, whatever you want to call him, who is goes by the name Chops, is also in this game somewhere, you'll see him later on. Brian and Brian are both programmers for Unknown Worlds, and uh, Andrew, who you saw earlier, who I killed, that was my first kill, is a former Blizzard programmer and he is programming for Unknown Worlds Entertainment now as well and sorry not as well he is programming for Unknown Worlds Entertainment now and he is working on the parving system and his new parving system is in build 181 and it is a big improvement on the previous parving and parving relates to uh, units, non-player character units such as whips, cr uh, whips, drifters, max, arcs, anything that moves but isn't a player needs to use the parving system and that's what Andrew has been working on and that's pretty cool because everyone knows StarCraft's parving system is very good, very smooth and very reliable and it's really exciting to have a former Blizzard developer who did formerly work on StarCraft to working on the Unknown Worlds, uh, working with Unknown Worlds Entertainment to improve the natural selection to parving system. What other notes are there? The flight system for the Lurk has been uh, improved. You can now get a little bit of upward momentum when pressing spacebar while holding W, A, or S, or D, which is cool. Going down to Brian's rifle there. And also Skulks no longer have first hive leap. There's a new choking on gas sound, which was really cool. You can now hear the Marines spluttering and coughing when they're in a gas cloud. Who have we got in here? Now, there you go. You've got Brian Alpha, Chops. He is down there. With a score of 17, Max, Charlie, Brian, and Andrew still in the game. So a nice bunch of Unknown Worlds Entertainment developers for your viewing pleasure this morning. So no set, no first hive leap now for the Skulk. And so that means Skulks can no longer leap at the start of their game. But in return, the Marines have had their shotgun nerfed a little bit. I'm not sure exactly what the mathematics are with that nerf. But it may be a range reduction, it may be a damage reduction. All I know is it felt pretty balanced both when playing as a Marine with a shotgun and as a Skulk on both sides of that core matchup. The Skulk versus Light Marine matchup is core to Natural Selection 2. Trying to chase down Charlie there with my Gorge uh, heal spray and kill him. But Brian has come to his uh, game director's rescue and has killed the Gorge trying to kill him. So uh, some real loyalty there on the part of Brian number one there. 
the Skulk has had a slight speed improvement, a slight speed, speed increase as well. So even though we have lost uh, first type leap, we are, Skulks are now more maneuverable in general because they do have an increase in speed. Going to kill this infantry portal with one Skulk and hopefully bring this game to uh, a close for an alien victory. It was mainly Unknown Worlds Entertainment developers playing on the Marine side, so it's pretty cool to possibly be beating them now. Uh, what other notes have I got? The Obviously I don't have the changelog yet, so I'm just going off what I noticed in this game and from talking a little bit to Unknown Worlds. But there will be a full changelog, obviously, to bring you all the changes, and I will bring you a proper gameplay and changelog video when 181 is actually released, which, as I said, could be any time over the next week. I'd expect it to be within the next five days for sure, but you just don't know because we don't know when Valve will actually upload and, uh, sorry, push, download and push out the build to us all on Steam. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this. I will possibly bring you some Marine 181 gameplay as well, and I have really enjoyed bringing this game to you. There's also some Tram changes, you might have noticed them when I flashed up the mini map, and uh, Tram is definitely very playable at the moment, can't wait to see that more on the public servers when Build 181 comes out. I will see you all soon for more ns videos, guys, leave me comments for improvement, and hopefully a little bit of praise sometimes. Thanks for watching, everyone.